Hey guys, this is Adam Gibson from Learn3dsoftware.com and I'm here to tell you today about a new series that we just released. It's called DDoo for Lightwave Users. Um, so basically what DDoo is, is a Photoshop plugin uh, that designed to work with 3D models for texturing. So anyways, this is uh, volume one right here, getting started one. And uh, right now I'll, I'll read off the description for you. Uh, those of you who don't know what DDoo is, so what is DDoo? DDoo is an extremely powerful 3D texturing plugin for Adobe Photoshop used by top video game companies and movie studios around the world. So it's used, being used very extensively. Um, imagine being able to detail your sci-fi industrial style models with adjustable rust, scratches, corrosions, water damage, dirt, leakage, dust, mud spattering, paint wear, and, and much more. All within a few seconds instead of spending hours and hours or weeks painting and tweaking your texture maps by hand. Um, the software also comes with a library of surfacing presets and the ability to create and save out your own presets. So you can save save them out, share them with your friends, uh, you, you can you know send them back and forth, that type of thing. Uh, in this course, we will step-by-step step show you how to get up and running fast with this amazing and powerful tool that you get at the following website, www.quixel.se.com. Uh, it's a very affordable piece of software. Okay, it's just a plug-in for Photoshop and it's only $50. If you get the full Quixel suite, which also includes um, uh, NDO, which is the uh, which is a, a normal mapping plugin. Although if you have like a, uh, other normal mapping software, like something like uh, 3D Coat, or you know you you can bake out uh, normal maps in uh, Lightwave and Moto and all that kind of stuff. Um, but uh, the Quixel suite uh, is uh, ninety nine dollars, so you get everything with that. Um, in this first volume, we'll be covering what's involved in uh, setup to optimize your meshes so that they're ready for loading in DDoo and also take you through the interface and get you started making awesome textures for your model for use in Lightwave and other pieces of 3D software. Um, so basically in the following volumes, volumes uh, 2 to 12 of the course, we will be going through a wide variety of tools and DDoo doing some basic and advanced project work, modeling and UV mapping with DDoo in mind, introduction to NDO, the normal mapping plugin that can be used with DDoo, which is part of the Quixel suite, and uh, how to create your own 3D models to sell on the internet uh, on websites like daz3d.com, TurboSquid, and more. This is just one of the examples right here of uh, combining uh, some presets. This is like sort of like this corrosion rust preset combined with adding snow on top of it. So it's really cool because with this plugin you can do things like uh, it, it, because it can tell the direction in which gravity is going, what your model is up or down. So if you want to add stuff that like snow on top of an object, um, it, it's sort of like uh, like these smart textures will actually know where to place it instead of putting it everywhere. So we show you actually how to set that up because there are certain things you have to do to uh, make it so that DDo knows uh, what is up and what is down. So neat stuff. Uh, another example is like this box, very simple, uh, very simple model, but you can you know spice things up by adding all sorts of uh, dirt and water damage and fun stuff like that. Um, and then uh, of course we have the table of contents where we go through uh, multiple uh, multiple topics. We describe you know what is DDo exactly, uh, DDo workflow a workflow pipeline for. Uh, pipeline for using with Lightwave, uh, where to download XNormal software for free. So there's a, a free piece of software that you can get is called XNormal and uh, and it will help you create some of the input maps that you need for uh, for use with DDoO. Uh, we show you how to bake out a tangent space normal map, we show you how to uh, uh, bake out uh, an object space normal map, an ambient occlusion map, we show how to uh, how to load uh, the input maps and object files into DDoO for texturing. We show how to add a regular material, then we show how to add a smart material and export uh, your baked maps. 
Uh, we show how to, to test the uh, bake maps in Lightwave, and then how to create, and then we show how to create your own smart materials inside of Didu. And then also, you know, reusing uh, a material preset on other models. Uh, the first volume is two hours and 36 minutes. It was recorded in full HD in MP4 format. Uh, it's designed for beginners and up. So you don't have to be an expert, but you may, once again, if you're, you're just beginning in 3D, you may need to watch it a few times so that you actually understand the, the process. So, um, if you buy the volumes individually, they're $19 each. There's going to be 12 volumes and, uh, and if you buy the bundle up front, we're going to have 12 volumes once again uh, for $99. So that's a, a good saving if you go in with the uh, pre-buy special. So uh, until next time, this is Adam Gibson from Learn3DSoftware.com. We'll see you again next time.